What we've just observed is the problem of multiplicity, or in other words, the problem that occurs when we have multiple comparisons. In this case, we had many, many possible tests, and so we actually had many, many opportunities to get a false alarm. What we need to consider is called the family-wise error rate, which is also called the experiment-wise error rate. And this is the probability of making one or more false alarms when performing multiple comparisons. And the real problem is that multiple comparisons leads to alpha escalation. In other words, we're simply giving ourselves more opportunities to false alarm because we're doing so many tests. If each test has a 0.05 probability of false alarming if the null is true, and the null really was true in that case, then over a large number of tests, the chance we'll make at least one false alarm is considerably higher than 0.05. One way of writing this is that alpha for the family of comparisons is equal to one minus the probability of not false alarming, that is one minus the alpha for each comparison, raised to the power of g, where g is the number of comparisons we're making. Let's imagine a smaller set of comparisons and let's see what a family-wise error rate would be. I'll put the formula at the top, and let's imagine we're making 19 comparisons. What's the probability over 19 comparisons that will make a false alarm, assuming the null hypothesis is true? Well, the way we would compute this is the alpha for the family is equal to one minus, one minus 0.05, that interior portion is the probability of not false alarming, raised to the 19th power. The reason we take one minus that one minus 0.05 to the 19th is we want to know what the probability is of making at least one false alarm. What we have on the interior component raised to the 19th power is the probability of not false alarming on 19 occurrences. So one minus that entire quantity is the probability of making at least one false alarm. In this case, it is 0.623. That is, if the null hypothesis is true, and we run 19 tests at alpha of 0.05, the probability we'll make at least one false alarm is 0.623, considerably higher than what we would imagine given that we're doing tests at alpha of 0.05. And this is alpha escalation. Multiple comparisons simply lead to alpha escalation because we have multiple opportunities to make a false alarm.